Hi, in this video, I would like to demonstrate you how I upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 in an unsupported laptop, Acer Aspire E5, model number 475G. So this laptop has processor i5-7200U, that is 7th generation. Processor is 2.5 GHz with 2 cores and it also supports 64-bit operating system. BIOS is BIOS mode is UEFI, also support secure boot and TPM2. RAM is 4 GB. So most of the system requirements for the Windows 11s are there, except this processor is 7th generation. So when I check Windows update, that is what it say. This PC doesn't currently meet all the system requirements for Windows 11. Currently. Maybe they will change their mind in the future, but currently I cannot upgrade this computer to Windows 11. So if I want to know more detail, I can go do this, install this app and run it to see what's a, what are the requirements. So this is the app I run, PC head check. It shows my computer specification a little bit. Check now. This PC doesn't currently meet system requirements. Why? Because the processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. So what about other requirements? Yes, it has secure boot, TPM2, 4 GB RAM, system support 64 bit, memory is more than 64 GB, and more than two cores, speed is more than one gigahertz. So except processor. So in the PC like this, it meets other requirements except unsupported CPU or if TPM is not 2.0 but is more than 1.2, that is a way to walk around to install Windows 11. It is provided by Microsoft itself. So this is Microsoft support website. It says that if you choose to install Windows 11, a device that doesn't meet the system requirements, you acknowledge and understand the risk, of course. It should have at least 1.2, TPM 1.2. Then what you can do is in the registry, you add this registry, allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Then value should be 1. So that is the way I'm going to use to install Windows 11 in this computer. First of all, I need Windows installation media for Windows 11. It is available here officially. Microsoft Windows 10 download page. Create Windows 11 installation media. Download it. I have already done. So it's here. Media creation tools. W11. That is Windows 11. So I run it. So Windows installation media will be downloaded for this PC. So it check my PC environment. Because usually it gave the recommended uh, recommended type of the media for this computer, so you don't need to choose many things. For example, like Windows Edition, Windows Language. So here I have to accept terms and condition. It will show what kind of Windows installation media it will download for me. This is what it recommends because here automatically tick use the recommended options for this PC. So language is English UK, Windows 11 will be downloaded. If you set download Windows 10, then it will show the architecture because to choose 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. But for the Windows 11, there is no way to choose 32-bit or 64-bit. In case if you want to change the language, you can uncheck here. It's available now to change English US or other languages. But I will stick on Windows uh, English UK, then next. So option to create a USB flash drive installation media or ISO file. So you can use HGB pen drive to create Windows installation media in USB. That, that can be used to both upgrade or custom install. But if you choose ISO file, you can use it in the future easily. You can upgrade from it. But if you want to do a custom install, you have to create USB uh, 
installation media or burn a DVD drive to boot from that device. In my case, I'm going to upgrade from existing Windows, so I choose ISO file, next, that is where to save the file. So you can choose whatever the location you want, and then this is the file name, this is the file type. In fact, I have already downloaded Windows 11, I give this name, because I don't want to confuse with other Windows as installation media, so this is what what I have downloaded. So after I get this window installation media, it is ISO file. There, there are two things I can do. One is, like I said, burn a USB, uh, burn a DVD, or create a USB pen drive, or else just upgrade directly from this. Double click or right click and mount Windows where create a virtual DVD drive and install this ISO file here. Then I will get a setup file. This is for Windows 11 installation. So I click setup. Then it run Windows 11 setup. As usual, it always check my PC. PC hardware and system requirement and environment. So it say that, okay, it's better you up, download the update before you upgrade. So may all the requirements the drivers, other additional files will be available. But sometimes, if you update, if you download the update before installation, installation doesn't work well. So I choose not at the moment. Next, okay, let it check my PC. There you go. The processor isn't supported for this version of Windows. That is what we expected. So like I said, what are we going to do is registry edit. So from the search box, we type R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So that is registry editor. Registry editor is there. Run as administrator. Then we get it. This is registry editor. In the registry editor, we go to H key local machine. Click on it, we go to system, then we go to setup. Another setup key, there is a key name, MO setup. So we right click on it, new, dwat 32 bit value. So there we will create a new key. The key must name as this. So, to make sure that spelling is correct, I copy it first. Then I go back to registry editor. And we'll set up new reward 32. Here, I give the name. So, the new key is allow upgrades with unsupported C TPM or CPU. Then the value is stays zero. So, I have to double click or modify type value one. There is one. So, you set key name, type, value over there. After I add in the registry, close registry editor. Let's go back to Windows installation setup. Go back, try again one time. Then you will see that it progress without refusing to pro pro uh, proceed. I have to accept license terms as usual. Then it will ask me to choose what files, what are the things you want to keep because this is upgrade. Upgrade means like I am running setup from existing windows. So it can help me to keep my personal files, personal files set, my windows setting, existing programs. Or I can choose whether I keep personal files only, not the programs. Or I choose, I can choose not to keep anything. Install it as a new Windows, new computer. But I have to do everything from scratch after installation finish, like new computer. So I have to start a create an account, install the driver, install the programs I need. So in, to choose those options, I need to pack up. Okay. So there is a warning. 
and they need my attention that okay it is not recommended so because it is it has compatibility issue if you proceed with installing windows 11 your pc will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates not only that warranty will be wiped also okay never mind i understand that i accept Then it will check some more. So let me uh, go back to the previous discussion. So I have three options to choose. In case if your PC has some virus or Trojan or if your PC has some issue with uh, install program previously, you better choose not to keep those existing programs and keep personal file only or you back up your personal files and keep nothing so to choose those options is here as usual when you check it's found out that my computer has windows 11 home single language so it's giving me windows 11 home single language also i don't need to choose it gave me automatically only thing is what i want to keep i can choose by clicking here so like i said if you suspect that something is not right choose not to keep nothing so start from beginning or else you delete all the programs just keep personal file but to me i will keep all so because i try to change the setting so it they will check again and ask me again to make sure what is my final decision otherwise if i didn't choose what to keep previously it will proceed installation that is the final checkup is it my final decision or not yes then click install there you go After a few minutes of uh, installing the Windows 11, moving the files from here and there because I want to keep everything so it has to move my existing files to one empty space, install the Windows 11 and then put previous files and programs files back to uh, their respective folders. It takes longer time than you install a new Windows or you choose nothing to keep. If you want to keep everything, take longer time and then it restarts repeatedly few times finally that is what i get so my account is stay there this is windows 11. so activation is there because i have already activated windows 10 in this computer so after upgrade even if you custom install or clean install it still have a digital signature of this computer with the previous windows 10 so window is activated automatically this is what i get after upgrade so it's a aspire e5 this is my computer hardware environment this is the software environment windows 11 home single language this is version is 21h1 i installed it today this is the build so this is how i upgrade unsupported is a laptop from windows 10 to windows 11 by using 
registry edit adding a one registry to allow upgrade with unsupported tpm and cpu so you can try if you want but there is a risk that there will be incompatibility issue or warranty issue thank you for watching bye